have a really big channel update because I have a new channel intro, a new profile picture, and a new channel art. So guys, first of all, I really have been wanting to change my channel intro and channel art for the last couple months because um, I think my old ones didn't really say anything about my channel because, especially with the channel art, it's really meant to say what your channel is about just briefly and my old channel art literally did not do that in the slightest other than saying that it was sort of Star Wars related, but uh, yeah, so I've really been wanting to change it for the last couple months and a couple days ago, I really just got down to it and just got it done. So I actually commissioned someone to make my new um, profile picture and channel art on Instagram, and his name is Nico Lego Yus, and he's a really cool guy. Um, he actually has the same name as me, which is pretty funny, but it was about ten dollars worth, which is pretty cheap. He also did Red Bricks Productions one, which is pretty cool. But anyway, so I'm really happy with with what he did. Basically, my um, my sick fig is basically just a fire first body with a um, sort of accurate to what I actually look like, um, head and hair. It isn't, of course, a face reveal, which I guess it's sort of is, but not really, um, but really happy with those, and the channel intro I really only changed because I changed my profile picture and channel art, um, so that's really the, um, profile picture done. Now, for the channel art, I actually did make the channel art, except, of course, the sick, the sick fic is by Nico Lego Yas on Instagram. Um, of course, I'll link his Instagram in the description down below. Anyway, for the channel art, I guess have the... Sick Fig, Nico on one side, Bricks on the others, and then, um, Mox, Armies, and more below, just to give a little, um, bit of a description of my channel, I guess, which I think is pretty cool. I'm really happy with actually how it turned out. I think it's pretty simple, but it really gets the job done and just really says what my channel is about. So now that this is done, um, I think my channel really just is starting to get really professional. I'm really happy with how it's looking, um, because again, of course, my old profile picture and channel are were really not unique, I literally just pulled them off the internet and they were not too good, um, again, I haven't wanted to change it for the last couple months, I finally just got down to it, and I'm personally really happy, it was definitely worth the money, and, and I'm just really excited to go forward from this. Now, I'm not really planning on changing the channel art, um, intro and profile picture, just for the foreseeable future, because I'm really happy with how they're looking, um, I might change them for the Christmas season just to give it a bit of a Christmas vibe, but other than that, it's probably just always going to stay the same from now on. Maybe in like a year or two or something, something changes, I'll change it, whatever, but really happy with how it turned out. Um, tell me in the comments you guys think. So with that done, let's get on to the next thing for the channel. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is mock videos. Now, mock videos have been the main thing on my channel for the past couple months, um, especially in the last couple weeks. Um, most of my videos have been mock videos, which is really, really important now. Um, so basically, the main thing that I want to talk about is that I've gotten rid of these cinematics. And the reason that I've gotten rid of them is actually because um, instead of actually just filming the video, what I'm doing is basically just taking an audio clip of me talking about the mock and then putting B-roll the entire time in pictures in front of, my, in front of the audio, which is basically sort of a cinematic. So I don't really have to put a cinematic there now. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments, um, because it will definitely affect my decision wh whether to put them in or not. Personally, I think that they shouldn't be in, but if all of you guys really want them in, then yeah, I'll, I'll include them, but personally, I do think that they shouldn't be there. So now, the final thing that I want to quickly cover right now is Ryloth. Now, I did delay Ryloth a couple weeks ago, maybe about, I think it was two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and... Basically, the reason was, was basically because I didn't really have enough money to buy the parts I needed because I never really anticipated it would cost this much, so here's a quick update. Um, I have made an $80 order from the, from Lego.com for a bunch of tiles and stuff because they're really cheap there, but not on Bricklink. And then I also just did make um, a pretty pretty big order, like around $80 I got on Bricklink for a ton of bricks. Um, I still have like two more orders, about $50, $60 each, and then I do want to have some leftover money after I order all these. Just in case I am running low on some parts. So, bit of an update there. Um, again, it will be another, like, maybe two or three, like, weeks. Probably at max for a few weeks. By the end of three weeks, if I haven't, I'll put another, um, um, update. You guys can start getting worried. You guys can start, I guess, getting mad at me. But, yeah, so, just a little bit of an update on Ryloth. But, anyways, that's gonna do it for the update video. Um, of course, the main thing, of course, was the new profile picture and intro, um, Really cool. Um, I think they look really good. Um, a big shout out to Nico Lego Yus on Instagram again. Check him out. Go follow him. If you want, you can actually do a commission for you. They're pretty cheap. So that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed. If you know the channel, be sure to subscribe. Comment down what you thought of the video, and I will see you very soon.